So we are at John Lewis in Liverpool One, head of Atrium Races, and I am joined by Claire, who's one of the stylists here. Uh, now, Claire, we're going to look at some uh, different looks for Atrium Races today. Yeah. But what are the things that are selling really well in store at the moment? What should people head towards if they're going for a last-minute outfit? Pastels, florals. Pastels and florals. Not too heavy. Okay. Um, nice and bright. Okay. Colourful. Quite feminine, not too bold. Yeah. That's what yeah. the look is this year. Nice. And what should people avoid massively? Super high shoes. So of course. Don't go for the kittens. We can't do kittens. Don't go for the kittens. <laughs> go for a nice mid with a platform. Yeah. You need to be comfortable. Yes. You're going to be in them all day. Because we don't want what happens every year. Flip flops at the, the end of the day. It's not going to look great with the rest of the outfit, is it? It's not what we're looking no, for. No, flip flops are a no go. Okay, so that's a no go. We're heading towards the florals and the pastels. Okay, yeah. let's see how you start our three models today. Okay. So we've got the beautiful Shannon here with us now. Claire, talk us through this outfit. How did you put it together? I put this together for Shannon. Um, Nice bright spring colours, yes. pastels. She's got the perfect little waist, which right. I want to emphasize. Oh, okay, I see. So this is why we come in for the cut here. Yeah, yeah. Neutral shoes and neutral hat. There's enough going on in the outfit. Yeah. yeah. But the bag, perfect. Yeah. Pop a little and, and, and this is really in at the moment, isn't it? Matchy, matchy, matchy with the jacket and the dress and the bag. Dress coats are just so we head everywhere at the that. minute. Yeah. They can be worn again with nice skinny jeans and heels afterwards. They're not just Good a one-off. Good thinking, I like that, um, yeah. The outfit. The dress can be worn again separate as well, but yeah, loads and of And the jacket outfits. as well. Every element of this can be taken apart and put together. And why did you decide on this hat in particular with this look? With the, it's quite angular, isn't it? Yeah, neutral shoes, neutral hat. Um, too much going on with the yeah. dress to add any other colours. And this, although it's structured and everything, it with the pastels and the floral, it's it's really feminine too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And this definitely. is, I'm sure this is one of your best sellers at the moment. Best as well. seller, <laughs> fantastic. So I love this. Yeah, people will be wearing the same thing. And of yeah. course, you've got to have the sunglasses as well. Chanel haven't you? sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. We'll always. pray for sun on the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brilliant, Shannon, you look absolutely amazing. Do you like this look? Is this something you I like? I love it. I think it's really comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Is it something you pick out? No, I wouldn't normally pick out for it, but now it's been picked for me. I think it's really good. So she's really good at her job then, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. So we've had Shannon, and now we have Anita. Claire, talk us through this look. With Anita's look, people used to avoid black. Okay. Um, I love black. Not, yeah, <laughs> That's my go-to. It's not colours we're avoiding okay. anymore. Um, nice bold black. Half hat, half fascinator. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so if she does decide to take it off, there's no hat here underneath. Ideal. Perfect. Absolutely ideal. Yeah. The dress has got the lace, which is really fashionable at the minute, and the nice floaty top, which splits at the back, is perfect. Really flattering and, really and nice. elegant. Yeah. Beautiful. And so you've, you've teamed it with obviously the black hat, the clutch, and the shoes as well, yeah. with the peak toe. We love, we love Anita's lipstick right now. Which <laughs> Anita's matches lipstick, the, yeah. With attention to detail. And that's quite good, isn't it, to contrast against the black and white, yeah, isn't it? To yeah. have something like that. Definitely. It's it really stands out. Definitely. Yeah, Anita, what do you think of this look? I think it's a truly elegant look. I really like it. Is it something you would have picked out? It's not something I would have picked out, no, but I, I really like it. So it really is. She is really good at this. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a lot of movement in it as well. It feels really comfortable. Really lovely. And it's something you'd be happy to wear through the day into the evening Absolutely, as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And we like what you've done here as well. Is this a styling tip that you've given her a way to put your you sunglasses? sunglasses on it, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to snap D&G sunglasses. No, <laughs> you definitely don't. So this is a really good trick for the day as well, isn't it? Definitely. Don't use your sunglasses, but make them part of the look involved in the outfit. Yeah, definitely. Um, Absolutely beautiful. So from Anita to tiny little Samantha. Samantha, you're absolutely tiny. So Claire, this yeah. must have been a challenge for you. It really was, because she's so tiny. But Four she's eleven. Tiny yeah. little waist <laughs> as well. Yeah. So talk us through this look and how you put this together. We didn't want to go for anything too overpowering for her because she is so tiny. Um, but nice pastel colours complement her skin tone. Yeah. Um, this one's got a nice little shawl that she can pop around at if she does get cold. Yeah. Because um, we're never guaranteed the weather that we are. She? That's true. No. Um, got the sunglasses again. She's in the right position. <laughs> yeah. Keep them there. Um, nice pale bag. Um, nice shoes to match it. Nice big fascinating. And because design. Samantha, you're a little bit younger as well, she can she can do these things like with all the embellishments and all that type yeah, of things. Yeah. that she can pull off at a younger age, isn't it? Definitely. Is that definitely. why you, you put this in? To yeah, this yeah, and to pick up the little bit of pale in the dress yeah. as well. And because Samantha is so small, is is this is a type of body shape that can get away with the ruffles and things, isn't it? Yeah. Would you say larger? girls or bigger chested girls who kind of avoid this type of look. Yeah, you don't want anything that's going to stand out too much. So if you're teeny so, tiny like Samantha, you can, she can carry the yeah. style, yeah. And definitely. what do you think about this look? Is this something you'd pick? Um, yeah. Uh, I'm drawn to shiny things. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, everything's sparkling. So I just, I love you're it. happy. Yeah. One very happy lady here. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. 
So Claire, some very happy ladies there. Yeah. Just to go over those points that we touched on there, for different shapes and sizes, if people are looking yeah. for outfits for HRAs, what is it they should look for? If you're an apple shape or you're curvy, what kind of things should you go towards? Go for fabrics with fluids. Okay. That have got movement that will sit on your curves rather Floaty than fabrics. boxing you in. Yeah, yeah, something comfy definitely. that you won't be conscious in in the day. Yeah, okay, yeah. and so if you are an hourglass shape, what should you go for then? Definitely pinch in at the waist. Okay, showcase it off. best part. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. And, then, and then really petite, really tiny. Ruffles. Get away with everything. Get, yeah, you can't eat anything. <laughs> oh, see so many styles, and I think oh, I wish we could get away with that. So <laughs> roughly. Um, great news, great tips there. Um, and so if people want to come and see you to be style for H races or other events in the future, yeah. how can they get in touch? I am johnlewis.com yeah. um, or pop into store. So see they can just come and see you and get Definitely. an appointment. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much for all oh, your tips. Thank you, Ellie. I hope that's given you guys at home some inspiration ahead of H races.